Hello everyone, for my craft today, I will be using 8x8 shadow box. It already has a paint. I bought this from Goodwill. I just rub a tea light candle onto the sides and then now I am painting it with the Waverly Cashew. Just one coat and set it aside to dry. So showing you on the video is a rice paper from uh, a site. I will put the link on the comment section just in case you're going to make this craft. I use a fine brush which is bigger. I dip it in water and dab it onto the area I will tear. So it makes it easy for me to tear it. I love this rice paper. Obviously, I'm going to use this for my fall decor. Then once done, I will start to use this scouring pad for the sides. Uh, I already have mentioned that I dab uh, I rub the tea light candle onto the side, so now I am just scraping the paint to show a little bit of distress because I love this dress look. I am using Mod Podge to apply on the back. I'm um, applying it so thinly and evenly so there will be no lumps and no wrinkles. So once done, I will glue it there on that side, just on that side because I'll be, uh, I will be putting something so I will sand the sides. I'm using a gator sander from Amazon. So I use this cutter just to cut those uh, the rice paper in between these spaces to um, emphasize the space. That makes it lovely. You can use any shadow box if you're going to make this kind of craft. Uh, you can even use a bigger shadow box. Now I'm using Jolie Finishing Wax. This is black top coat. I got this from Amazon. And I'm using um, an eyeshadow brush to do the distressing. I want this to look a little dirty. This is optional. If you don't like dirty look, don't use any wax at all. So you can even uh, use any paint of your choice. So it's turning out very pretty. I will set it aside and I have these three oval shape uh, wood. This comes in a pack. Actually, this is from Hobby Lobby. I will paint this with the Pueblo by Folk Art. The three of them, I'll paint them. And once done, I dried it and I will be using Ranger Crackle Paste Opaque. I will mix it a little bit with the Waverly plaster, just a little of the Waverly plaster. So now I am mixing it. And to apply it, I will be using palette knife. This will make a very nice crackle. So you can see that I did not totally cover it because I want something of the Pueblo by Folk Art to, to show. That really is awesome. I love, I love this. So now I am drying it. And once dry, I will mix a, a little of Waverly ink. Uh, let's say probably a teaspoon of, of water. I'll mix them to make it uh, not too dark. Then I will be using these wet wipes to do the application. I'm wiping it there. I'm applying it there and then at the same time I'm wiping it with the other side of the wet wipes which is clean. So it just make the um this oval shape wood and the design a little darker. Again, this is optional. It's all up to you if you don't want to have this waverly ink. Then I wipe it off so you can see it really changed now. It's darker. Using this Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel, I will um, paint this uh, little Christmas tree from Dollar Tree. It comes in a pack of so many, so I will just use one. And I'm using this uh, foam brush, do the dubbing motion. I will now start to arrange them. So I'm making a small pumpkin here out of the 
oval wooden uh, wood wooden piece rather then I will put this as the stem I have this sweet Annie. I will start to decorate it with just uh, the sweet Annie. This one is optional, ladies. Whatever you have on your end, greeneries or whatever, you're going to uh, design your pumpkin. It's all up to you. And then this maple leaf, this, uh, these are actually wood. This is also from Hobby Lobby. It's, it's in a box. I just decorate it there and it's really very pretty and I will make this more distressed looking by using the Jolie finishing wax black top coat. I'll mention it again. I got this from Amazon. So you can see it's really very pretty. I got this drawer handle from um, Timo. I will not paint this anymore because it really match with the color of my crow. So I'm just drilling there to make it really sturdy. You can lift this. This is actually a shelf sitter. If you want to hang this, just use a nail or a screw that is long. This time I will be using this cup hook and I drilled it again. Uh, I'm going to put the screw there to make it sturdy. I will put hot glue there before I'm going to put the screw. Very simple craft. Uh, it was really very um, fast for me to finish this craft and I really love it. So then I will, I don't have a lot of letter stamps for fall and this one, it's just one time I'm going to put it there. I'm not gonna use uh, the small ones. I will make this uh, distress again. This is optional, whatever message you're going to put there. So if you like this craft and you want to see more of my craft ideas, um, I usually use uh, craft materials that are really inexpensive. Please go to my main page and please click the like sprinkle this video and give me a follow because when you follow me you will be updated with my future reels and crafts and you will be notified when i go live when i go live i have a different craft also if you want a slower version and you want to chat with me of course you can you know get to know each other you can participate in my live and this is a sped up video so thank you all so much. This is such a pretty craft. I love this. The back is just awesome. It's very neat, a good piece, uh, very nice to give away as a gift for fall season. I like the small pumpkin, very pretty with a crackle. I love it with a different design. So I hope you like this craft, everybody. It's such a very pretty craft. And thank you all so much. So this is the finished craft. Very nice. So till next time, friends. I hope you love watching this video and you like this craft. Give me a follow. Thank you.